Eddie said we we're going to talk about the honeymoon phase of extensions, and I say it's just the opposite. It's almost like buyer's remorse. I mean, <laughs> call it what you call it what you want, but it's just like hair replacement. When I put hair on a bald or thinning man, hair extensions on a client, they always have these ideas inside that head what they want, and they'll even show you pictures. And it's almost impossible, even if you do exactly what the picture looks like, they then don't feel like they thought they would feel when they saw the picture. So they want to just stay in your chair for how long. And this, I would gauge how good of a stylist you are. This is where I say the longer they're in your chair, the less confident of a stylist you are. Because mm. I watch it in my own salon. Um, even in my own life, I'm doing it for 30 years, you know, I remember in the beginning when it's crazy because I got this one client and I wish I could name her, but she still comes here. My son does her hair now. And he, he's like, dad, she won't leave when we're done. I said, she was always like that. You have to tell her to leave. So it, it doesn't matter how long, even some of the same clients, they just never like their hair right away. I guess this could be for color, highlights, any changes, you know, mm -hmm. they are feeding off of your confidence first. Now, hopefully they do actually look good. Hopefully, let's say, let's set the ground rules. You do a good job. You do a trendy job. You do an age appropriate job. Because if you just do a job that sucks, well, that's a whole different story. Post it on the forum and let everybody else tell you how bad it looks. And then you'll know for sure. But if you do a good job, then, and you're confident, you sometimes have to say, a lot of times, you have to push that confidence onto them. You look good. It's time to leave and go show the world what you look like. How good you look like, right? Right, because they just keep looking in the mirror, and I guess that 10 or 20 or 30 minutes, sometimes a freaking hour, in hair replacement, we got private rooms, so we'll leave them in that room sometimes, go work in another room, and then somebody will kind of mumble in the hallway, that guy is still in the room. <laughs> It's a while for them to get used to looking at it. And if you've got that luxury, it's fine. But if you don't and you have to move on, you have to be honest with the client and say, you look great. I know it's going to take you some time to look at it, but I have another client scheduled right after you that I have to so, move on. To. You know, and that's one of the things I do, especially with hair extensions. It's one of the things I do during the consultation. I flat because it really is a psychological thing. And I tell them, look, you're used to seeing yourself this way in the mirror all this time. And, then, and this and, and now we're going to change your entire look. And it doesn't right. matter how mentally prepared you are for it. And it doesn't matter how good it's going to look. I promise you it's going to look good. And I can promise you the moon and the stars. You are not going to be used to seeing yourself that way when we're done with you. And it's right. going to take time for your eye to adjust because there is that psychological factor that's involved. So as much as you can prep them during the consult to let them know that there is going to be a significant change. They are going to look different. It still doesn't matter. There is nothing to prepare that person for when they actually look at themselves in the mirror, that they look different. So one of the things.